Hello, uh, welcome to the uh, Daily Dollop of Maths from ICT Games. Uh, this is day three. Um, thanks for coming back. Um, uh, please be sat with um, uh, a member of your family and have a piece of paper ready. And please make sure you, you join in. Uh, don't uh, worry about your mistakes. We love our mistakes. OK, right. So I'm going to start from 100. We're counting backwards. OK, so please join in. 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95. 94, 93, keep going. Okay, and we'll stop there. Now, what's one less than 80? Turn to your partner. 79, 78, 77, 76, 75. What's one less than 70? Well done, 69, 68, 67, 66. Okay, what's one less than 60? That's right, 59, 58, 57, 56. Right, what's one less than 50? Fantastic, super job, okay. Let's try something else now. Uh, so here we go. Oops, wrong one. Uh, let's set that to oh, the numbers between 0 and 50. Right, so this is 0, this is 50. Where would 25 be? Where would 25 be? Point to the screen. Yeah, halfway in the middle. Zero, uh, from 0 to 50, halfway is 25. I'm just, I'm just going to get this right this time. Oh, here we go, nearly. Okay. Here we go. This time, if that's 25, where is 40? Where, where would 40 be? Yeah, I'm guessing about there. That's my best guess. Let's have a look. Oh, not far. Uh, where would 10 be? Point to the screen. Yeah, I'm guessing about there, I think. Oh, not too bad. Right, let's make it a bit harder now. Let's take it to the next level. This is zero. I'll just show you, show you the numbers. This is zero. This is 100. If we just count quickly, let's count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Right. Where, oh, I'm not to hide it. Where would 50 be? That's right. 50 is halfway between zero and 100, about there. <laughs> oh, I got that so wrong. Okay, and now where, oh, I'm not to hide it. Where would 25 be? This is 50, so that's 0. Yeah, 25 is halfway between um, 0 and 50, so about there. Not far off. OK. Uh, where, If that's 25, I remember that was 50, where would 75 be? 75. That's right, it's going to be halfway between 50 and 100, so it should be about there. But not too far off. Here we go, lovely. Now, let's try between 100 and 200. Now, between 100 and 200 is very similar to between 0 and 100 because the distance from here to here is 100 and the distance from 100 to 200 is also 100. This distance across here is 100 here and this distance across here is 100. So... Where would 50 be here? Sorry, that's wrong. 150. This is 100. This is 200. Where would 150 be? Imagine I didn't say 100. Imagine I just said the 50. Imagine this was 0 and this is 100. Where would it be? 150. Bang in the middle. That's right. Oops, nearly. 150 right in the middle. Right. OK. Where would 125 be? 125. Imagine I just said 25. Where would 25 be? 125. That's right, halfway between 0 and 100. OK. Where would... Oh, this is a tricky one this time. Where would 110 be? Perhaps you could write 110 with your finger on the table in front of you. Write 110. It's quite a tricky one. That's right, 110 is right over here. There we go. That's 110 there. OK, 
give your partner a high five if you wrote that correctly. If you spelt that in maths correctly. Well done. Okay, now I'm going to teach you a rhyme. Now, a very lovely lady called um, uh, Mrs. Finch taught me this rhyme, and it's been really helpful for years. Lots of children have used this with me, uh, and it's my it's her rhyme for how to remember the numbers that make ten. Okay, and it's super, super helpful. So I'm going to say it a few times. There's some actions here, although I can't really do them for you to watch. Um, but we got we do the actions. So here we go. I'm going to say it together. Ten and zero, you're a hero. And then you do that action. You could stand up if you want. One and nine, feeling fine. One thumb up. Two and eight, feeling great. Two thumbs up. Then do a little spirally thing over you, like, like a halo. Three and seven, made in heaven. Four and six, let's do some tricks. Now that one, you've got to sort of swing your arm around like that and then make two fingers with your other hand like a little rabbit popping out of a hat. Can you see he's like putting his ears up and down? Five and five, let's do a jive. And that one, you dance and sh um, shake your booty. Okay, let's start again. Ten and zero, you're a hero. One and nine, feeling fine. Two and eight, feeling great. Three and seven, Made in heaven. Four and six, let's do some tricks. Five and five, let's do a jive. Well, right, I'll say it my turn, and then it's your turn. So I'm going to say it, and I want you to say it back. Ten and zero, you're a hero. Brilliant. One and nine, feeling fine. Two and eight, feeling great. Are you saying it back? Three and seven, made in heaven. Four and six, let's do some tricks. Five and five, let's do a jive. Okay, brilliant. Now that's gone in, hopefully. You can hope, hopefully you can, oh, wrong one, I've got the wrong thing up. Now, oh dear, hello, that was good. Now I'm going to put, I've got a part, 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 hole. This is the hole. These are the parts I can um, make that hole out of. So uh, can you remember one of the ways of making 10? Oh, I'm going to put on there five and five. That was one way. Okay, what's another way? Okay, I'm going to put on there now. Oops, hang on. I'm going to put on there. Uh, remember two. What was with two? Two and two and mm, feeling great. Two and two and eight feeling great. Well done. Right, okay, here we go. Let's have another. One. What would you add to three? Three and mm, mm, made in heaven. Three and three and seven. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Three and seven. What's another one? Uh, Four. What do you add to four to make ten? Four and four and mm, let's do some tricks. Four and six. Let's do some tricks. Uh, what else haven't we done? Oh yes. Hang on. Get yourself all ready. Here's ten. Oh, part part. Here's one. One and feeling fine. One and fantastic. Good job, guys. Super job. Right. Okay. Now, let's have a look. Here's a clock. I'm going to get rid of the hour hand. We're just going to have the minute hand. Okay. And the minute hand, when, as it moves to each one of these positions, counts in fives. So I'd like you to join in counting in fives with me. I might just get my little minute -y thingy up so I can see the fives. Okay. Join in with me. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 and when it gets back to the top it could be two numbers there could be a 60 there or there could be a zero but no one really puts a 60 there it's just a zero okay and zero again i'm going to join uh, counting fives again 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 and does it say 60? No, it's a zero. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Oh, we don't say this 60, do we? Okay, right, now I'm going to put the hands back. So, that, um, turn to your partner. Do you know what time that is? Well, the big hand, the minute hand is on the um, zero which, on the 12, which means it's o'clock, so it's three o'clock. Fantastic. Right, okay. Right, here we go. Here comes another one. 
It's a whole hour later. What time is that? Fantastic, four o'clock, right. So you've got home from school, um, and then two hours later, it might be tea time. Well, hang on, here's two hours later. Okay, that's a tricky one. What time is that? Okay, now you've had your tea. So Sorry, it's six o'clock. You've had your tea. Um, uh, in an hour's time, you're going to have a story. What time is that? Seven o'clock, fantastic. Okay, and then an hour later, you might go to bed. What time will it be? Fantastic, eight o'clock. And then uh, that'll do for that. Okay, uh, now let's finish off with our play your cards guy. Here we go, guys. So uh, I'm gonna let's have a look. Let's put between uh, let's have between 41 and 60. Here we go. So we can have any number between 41 and 60. So if uh, here's 43, we've got 43. If you think it's gonna be higher, shout higher. If you think it's gonna be lower, shout lower. Okay, right. So 43. Now, hmm, what do you reckon? Hmm, it's quite, there's not many numbers there, is there? I think it's gonna be higher. Go for higher. Yes, fantastic. Okay, uh, now so 51. Now, oh, that's tricky. Do you know why it's tricky? Tell your partner why that's tricky. Yeah, because there's just as many numbers this way as there is this way. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say lower. Oh dear, what a shame. Never mind. Okay, now this one's easier. Why is this one easier? Why is it easier? That's right, there's only one number above it, so all the rest are below it, so it's probably going to be lower. Oh, fantastic. Okay, oh, 55, that's tricky. What do you reckon? I'm going to say lower. There's lots more numbers lower. Yes! Okay, oh, here's a tricky one. So there's only three numbers lower. I reckon it's going to be, well, I'm going to say, say it's higher, it's got to be higher. Yes! Let's see what we won. Ah! washing machine look at this fabulous prize okay guys thanks for listening and thanks for joining in um please come back next time um uh oh before we go we need to have our uh, reward so you've got three buttons above you you've got um strawberry milkshake banana milkshake and chocolate milkshake and you've got a big handle you need to get your cup out press the button that you want for which flavor milkshake and pull on the handle <laughs> Put it all the way to the top. Right, take out your bendis and curliest straw, put it in. Take a deep breath. Drink it till it's gone. Ah, brain freeze. Fantastic, guys. See you next time. Bye bye.